Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Ms. Young, uh, as a member of the Appropriations Committee staff, did you work on defense budgets? Uh, um, I happen to be staff director, so all of them, so okay. defense included. Yeah. So how do you see the world in terms of danger right now? Uh, Senator, it's hard to, to look at the news. It's hard to, to go to the job I have and, and not uh, hear about the, the very changing global picture we see every day, especially uh, with uh, what's going on in Eastern Europe. Is that fair to say for you? Do you agree with that, Ms. Coletti? Uh, Coletti? Senator, just weighing in to agree. Okay. So the point I'm making is if you look at President Biden's budget proposal and project it out to 2031, we'll be at 2.5% of GD, GDP spending on defense. Uh, that will be below what we were doing on September the 10th, uh, 2001, before we were attacked. So I just think that is a very dangerous glide path for our nation, and I'll be working with people, you and others, to try to change that. So I don't want to, you know, make a bunch of speeches about defense other than we need a budget. Do you agree we need a budget quickly, Ms. Young? Um, s sign me up for as okay. quick as possible. Uh, what about an emergency supplemental? You think we need one of those too? Uh, Senator Graham, we are assessing everything from COVID to our situation in uh, Eastern Europe, yeah. and we clearly will be in, in contact um, if we think yeah. the resources um, are needed. Well, I got contacted by the administration about three and a half billion dollars for Afghanistan to go to UN uh, agencies, not the Taliban. Count me in for that. I think the best way to do that is through an emergency supplemental. The World Food Program has been under siege because of COVID and all kind of problems out there. We've got problems at home and abroad. So I think an emergency supplemental would be uh, uh, well utilized and also to help the Ukraine. As a matter of fact, if we did have an emergency supplemental, would you support designating foreign military financing for Ukraine? as part of that package? Uh, Senator, you're looking at someone, I've visited Ukraine three times as a congressional staffer um, and know the issues uh, very up close and it's troubling by what we see there. So um, as you mentioned, we you'd don't have a regular- to support that? Uh, we, well, we don't have a regular appropriations bill. So somewhere in yeah. one of those packages, I, I won't dictate to okay. the appropriations leaders how they do it. Okay. Um, we certainly uh, support Ukraine aid. Okay. Iron Dome, uh, eight months ago, President Biden promised to provide $1 billion to, rep to replenish Israel's Iron Dome system following the barrage of missile attacks from Haas and Gaza. To this point in time, the administration has not yet formally requested the additional Iron Dome funding. Uh, do you know if that's going to happen? Do you support that happening? Uh, Senator Graham, I think the Department of Defense has been clear uh, with congressional leadership that they support that backfilling um, of Iron Dome. Uh, the, the last legislative uh, vehicle, I understand, is pending uh, in the Senate, but we certainly uh, I've been told that, that you haven't made a formal request of the Congress. Is that not accurate? Um, it's, it's one of many things we have communicated um, through technical assistance to, to the Capitol. That I is a normal say, way. I would the sooner the better that we can get Iron Dome replenished because the world and that part of the world is getting more dangerous also. So I look forward to working with you on that. Uh, we just passed a bipartisan uh, infrastructure package and I voted for and we had a lot of money for roads and bridges and ports. One of the things that bothers a lot of us, just not me, is that the Federal Highway Administration um, issued a memo recently that says, uh, that runs counter to congressional intent by discouraging the use of federal dollars by states for new highway capacity projects. South Carolina, we need all the highways we can get. Uh, what's your view about that memorandum? Uh, Senator, I was not involved in that memorandum, and I'm happy to take your concerns back and, yeah. and work with you yeah. uh, to address any Please do, because a lot of us who voted for that bill expected the states to have the flexibility they've had in the past to do, you know, appropriately what they need to do. In our state, we do need more roads, and uh, that... I appreciate it if you could talk to people over the highway uh, department about that. Uh, finally, when when do you expect that we will get the next budget? Um, as you you know, Senator, um, the State of the Union is March first. It is typical that the State of the Union would lead into a budget 
Uh, so that is certainly our expectation that you would see that normal course of uh, interaction between the State of the Union and the budget. And finally, do you agree with me that continuing resolutions really are harmful to the Defense Department? Um, what does that say behind you? The world is a dangerous place? Yeah. Um, so every two-week, every three-week inc increments is uh, not the way to budget. Thank you so much.